I'm feeling a little burnt out and facing some creative blocks lately. So I'm just doing a beat tutorial today. It's officially been over one year since I started making these tutorial videos. I started out January 19th, 2018, and since then the channel has experienced a crazy level of growth that I never expected, so thank you for that. Today I'm doing an If I Produced For video on Token. Token is a 20 year old American rapper from Boston, Massachusetts. He blew up after his No Sucker MCs contest entry went viral in October of 2015. He released his first full length album entitled Between Somewhere and December of 2018. Token raps on a lot of different types of beats with a wide range of BPMs. I've decided that I'm going to be aiming for a more gritty industrial aesthetic, something along the lines of patty cake. So basically I'm just trying to capture a somewhat energetic vibe that isn't overly complicated musically to leave lots of room for lyrical miracles. Let's get into the cookup. First I opened up these presets in Omnisphere, and I laid down a simple repetitive melody in D minor. Here's what I came up with. Next I added some effects. First I applied this degrader plugin to give the keys a more gritty feel. Next I applied this gross beat preset. Then I added an EQ with a low cut around 170 Hz, a slight boost at 266 Hz, and a big boost around 1.5 kHz with a high cut at 6.3 kHz. Lastly I added some reverb. Here's what the melody sounds like now. Then I pulled up this texture in Omnisphere. I added some effects. To give the texture a bit of rhythm, I added this gross beat preset. Then I added an EQ to cut the lows at 516 Hz, with a slight boost around 1.4 kHz, and a high cut at 7 kHz. Here's what the texture sounds like now. Next I laid down this sound. I made this kick pattern. I made this 808 pattern that just follows the kick. I don't usually bother talking about this in my videos because it would become too repetitive and take up too much time. But more often than not, I tend to sidechain my kick to my 808 to let the kick punch through the mix better. I go on this website here to calculate delay times. I do this to make sure that the release is synced up to the BPM of the project. It's probably not necessary to do this, but I like to be thorough. After I set the release time, I play around with the threshold and ratio knobs to get however extreme or subtle of a ducking effect I'm looking for in the bass. I made this hat pattern. I laid down a snare. I added another snare for bounce. I laid down an open hat. Here's what the drums sound like all together. <laughs> 